Welcome, everyone, to the Tethers Shipyard Strategic Analysis Division, where we study the conflicts of the past and speculate the conflicts of the future. I am Takeshi Yamato, the Yardmaster, joining our host and strategic analyst and lore master, the House Go Gamer. Yo. Pardon the map. We don't have one that's proper. We don't have a proper one for today's fight battle. We're continuing the STO Clone Wars crossover campaign with the Battle of Umbara. The Battle of Umbara was a complete and utter disaster. Sure, the Republic won the battle, but it really shouldn't have had to be fought in the first place. Beginning construction. In fact, arguably, this entire debacle is the okay, fault of Padme Amidala. Hmm. One, two, three. In case anyone is wondering why I'm blaming Padme for this, her little deregulate the banks thing. Uh, this resulted in the assassination so of okay, the uh, senator of Umbara. And, well, you can guess how that ended. Yeah. Umbara seceded from the Republic, and the Republic went, Yeah, you're staying. Yeah. So, One, two, three. Umbara, if you're doing as the name suggests, is a planet shrouded in complete darkness, 24 hours a day. Yeah. Construction complete. So, complete. Do it. If you're on the Republic side, you might have a chance to bypass this fight altogether. If you're able to inject some logic into the equation. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. <sighs> Mostly by just bombing things from orbit. Photon torpedoes, yada yada yada. Reporting. Yeah. But I was also thinking like if if you're doing the do if you're on the Republic side Maybe you can actually prevent the circumstances behind it from happening if you're if you've got a team doing stuff in the Senate to discuss things. We're not covering the political crap for good reason. Neither of us yeah. wants to go insane. Yeah, neither of us wants to go insane. But if you want to give it a try, be my guest. And Go drive yourself you, insane. <laughs> yeah, and you might, you might potentially bypass the Battle of Umbara altogether that way by bypassing the conditions behind it. However, on the CIS side, this is probably you're definitely going to come across this sooner or later. Your goals for. The Battle of Umbara for the CIS side are kind of obvious. Just prevent the landings to begin with, in which case you gain instantaneous victory. Yeah. But if you can't prevent the landings, make them untenable for the Republic. Yeah. Fortunately, you're going to have a little bit of help from the Republic side. Pong Krell. Turret constructing. One, two, three. Pong Krell. A Jedi Knight, I presume, nobody really tells us his rank within the Order, who fell and basically went, Order 66 is coming, I'm joining the Empire. Constructing. Uh, Without knowing everything. Right. You know how it is. Yeah. Upgrade complete. Eh, I can't really think of anything else to say here. 
Mainly, your duties are to keep the ba are to keep the Republic off the damn planet. However, if you can't keep them off the planet, basically just make their lives hell. Construction complete. Yeah. Destroy their ships, ruin their days, just generally make it impossible for the <laughs> for the Republic to land there. Yeah. And, well, if you're playing with the Republic, which, really, if you are, this is going to be one of the darker things you're going to have to deal with. Yeah. You're going to have to deal with Pong Krell's inability to, uh, be flexible. Oof. Full frontal assault, suicide charges, that sort of thing. There's a reason he was intentionally trying to get everybody on... in the 501st killed. He was trying to... gain favor with Dooku. Give over the planet, and... Unit in production. Oof. Yeah. You will be having access... At this point, you may have access to some Federation-derived vehicles. Well, derived vehicles, here, that have been given some upgrades. Yeah. Yes, sir. So you're gonna have some fun with that. Note the sarcasm. Unless you actually enjoy tanks. <laughs> yeah. And... Who knows? I and depending on how far this is in the war, who knows how much? Who knows how much t time uh, Tatsuki has had to uh, test and research her prototype Landmaster assault vehicle? Ready weapons. That said, you're still going to have a very unfun time with this entire debacle. Yeah. Moving. That unfun time mostly revolves around, well, dealing with the Umbarans themselves. Yeah. Moving. I mean, yes, the Umbarans had every right to secede. But. They didn't exact. We're in trouble. Unit Joining the Confederacy might have been the worst mistake they made. Yeah. So, yeah. That's basically all we have to say on the Battle of Bara. We're getting actually pretty close to the end here, for one simple reason. The next major event is Operation Dirge's Lance. Ah. And you know what that means. That guy getting close to Coruscant? Yep. Actually, that's pretty close. Much the end, pretty much the end stage of the war. Yep. Base is under attack. So, we'll see you all for Operation Dirge's Lance. Bye bye.